What's going on guys and welcome back. So I wanted to go over the best possible card to be mining the Kryptonite and Kryptonite V7 algorithm with right now. And that is going to be the Radeon RX 580 Gaming X 8 gig edition. Now these cards are not on sale through Newegg or Amazon anymore that I've found. You'll have to buy them used. I think they've started the, they stopped the production of them and they're going to like their different models now. But let me tell you why this is the best card to be mining with. Got a boost clock and a memory frequency of 1441 megahertz and 81 megahertz on the overclock mode, 1431, 8000 on gaming, and 1411 and 8000 for silent. It's got 8 gigabytes of GDDR5. The heatsink is awesome. Uh, it is super quiet. It runs real cool. Uh, and then you can go over the gaming aspects of it. Uh, but it's got a nice glow. The shroud glows red. It's got a nice back plate. It's not a real big card. I mean, it's uh, it's bigger than a 560. But, you know, overall, it's a nice size. You can get the TDP pretty low on them. You can get it down to like 85 watts on the TDP. The fans are super quiet. Even if they get ramped up to above 80%, there is still a quiet card. You can control the LED if you want to. But let me tell you why this card is the best card to be mining Kryptonite or Kryptonite V7. If you have the Samsung memory version of this card, this is the hash rate you can expect to get. After BIOS mod and not even touching the overclock settings, you can get at least 1000 hash rate or a kilohash of hashing power on Kryptonite and Kryptonite V7. So what does that mean? That means your card is not going to be making a dollar 84 a day, whereas before, if you were mining Ethereum, you would be making maybe a dollar a day. Yes, the Kryptonite and Kryptonite V7 algorithm is more profitable right now, but I don't know of anybody else who has posted anything about these cards making one kilohash besides a Vega 56 or a Vega 64 after extensive modding and settings. This card you can get it right now used for around three hundred and fifty, uh, three hundred to three hundred and fifty dollars. You're going to be taking a risk because you don't know if it has the Samsung memory. So if you bought these before and you're running the custom timing straps, go back, put the original BIOS on it, and then one-click timing patch it. With the one-click timing patch, I'm pulling one thousand hashes a second. So let's go and look at what my rig's actually doing right now. So it's been running pretty solid for the last 13 hours and 42 minutes. You can see I'm right at, at 7 mega hash or around 7 kilo hash plus. Uh, my total shares accepted is 1,922, zero rejected. And you can see my hash rate across the board, 1011, 1014, 1014, 1003, 1011, 1012, and then this is the MK2 armor that has Micron. These six GPUs are the RX 580 Gaming X editions, 8 gig that have Samsung memory that have been one click timing patched. So, if you have these cards, go in, put the original BIOS on them, and then one click timing patch. Let me show you my settings 1300 on the core, the stock core is 1388. You can actually bump it higher than that. But with 1300 on the core across these seven cards, it's got my total wattage from the wall at 950. And then I just got memory set to 2100, then 2000 on one of them, 2100, and then 2200 on the Micron card. And then I got an 850 Underbolt. So, this card, the RX 580 Gaming X 8 gig model. You can get it for around $320, $350 used if you can find them on eBay, but you're going to be running into whether or not it is an actual Samsung memory. So please try to get them at your own risk. But this is the absolute best card to be mining on the Kryptonite algorithm and Kryptonite V7 algorithm compared to the Vega 56 and 64 price point. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. It is the absolute best card. So if you have them, congratulations. I mean, with, even with this BIOS mod, you can still put it on Ethereum. You can't undervolt it too much. And you can't really bump the memory up, but you can expect to get around 30 to 31 hash rate across the board. So, guys, with that being said, check and see if you've got 
Samsung memory on these cards. And if you do, go through BiosMod it. I've got BiosMod video. I'll put the link in the description so you can go through and you can figure out how to one-click timing patch. But until next time, guys, peace.